So we're starting day three of comedy of errors here. Um, I've already cut and screwed this side stripped down. This one I glued yesterday and uh, put the screws in it already today. I've marked out my boards. Uh, so I'm put across here the front, the other end, and a couple for the middle. Hopefully we can get more than two minutes worth of work done today. Well, that worked good. A little Hitachi saw that I picked up at the pawn shop. I think I got a deal, I don't know. It's a 10 inch saw and I got uh, the Porter Cable 20 volt lithium driver. And uh, what else did I get? brand new DeWalt jigsaw um, at Home Depot. I think they were $79. Uh, I got everything for $200. Um, there's a Hitachi saw. I looked it up and it normally sells for I believe $189. So uh, the impact driver is jigsaw. Kind of a bonus I guess. So, And luckily here in Montana we don't pay sales tax. So when we pick something up and the price is on it, that's really what we pay. So for 200 bucks, I'm happy. And I guess that's all that really matters. I feel I got a good deal. Well, I'm going to take and put these end pieces on real quick. Put a little glue down because I am gluing and screwing each piece here. I feel it's just going to make it that much more stable. Uh, the Gorilla wood glue. So I'm figuring it's got to be okay. Making sure that my edges are lined up here. Like right there, I got a little bit of a gap. This bottom board's in a little bit just because of the twist of the board, I'm sure, from buying it from the shop there. So I'll pull that out. Center in there. This, so when I get my next sheet of plywood on, on the other side, hopefully it will make more sense and you know, everything will be nice and, and even. So when I stand my walls up on the side and stuff like that, I'm not going to have a wave to it or anything. Everything's going to be flush. I've been putting them roughly every 10 or 12 inches of screws um, except for my corners I try to put two of them kind of close together give a little more support in the corner areas again I think that gluing it and screwing it just adding to the strength of it Holy cow, look at that. Got more than two seconds worth of work done today. Holy crap. Well, I'm going to shut the camera off now for a minute. I'm going to go grab my wife and have her help me come out and flip over the board here because it's a little more than what I want to do by myself. I'm an old man. So, two of us will flip that over. I'll be able to put my spacers in and I'll grab my foam and uh, so I can insulate the flooring on it because uh, I do plan on using this in the wintertime during hunting season um, 
Buddy and I usually go up, he's got a very nice camper, and usually go up in a camper, but I kind of want to give something like this a whirl, something not so nice and elaborate, but yet very functional for what I want to do. I drag it way the hell up there where they can't drag theirs. So, anyways, I'll be back shortly, folks. Thank you. As you can see, we got the board flipped. So, I already have this marked out from where I need to put the center pieces here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to glue them down and I'm going to take and screw them from this side and then when I flip it over again ooh, that was good and tight screw it down from this way then when I flip it over I'll catch the screws from the other side also just to make sure a little, a little more stability so here we are we're going to glue them down. Of course my edge is gone on this board. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job inspecting my boards. And the only reason I'm doing this is just it's going to give us some more strength in the middle here. Because I wanted it insulated. So in order to, of course, do the insulation, I have to have the center section of, of the foam and uh, I, I think that you know me I'm, I'm not a small person by myself lying on it I imagine eventually that upper board would start to warp and bow a little bit so here I am still messing with my TZS sawhorse I didn't go get some today. That's all right. Because I'm not going to need them soon. What I'm going to do here, when I get this all done, is I got four milk crates. I'm going to level them up and set this down because I'm going to be doing my walls and my ribs. And I don't want to be working up here, so it'll be much easier to have it down here. So for this build, my cheesy sawhorses work. But I'll get some. It, give me a little bit of time. And uh, continuing on I, with my goof ups, I went last night, ran back into town, which isn't bad. I'm only five, six, seven miles from town. Um, went to Ace Hardware, which really killed me to do, but I thought it's better than the 11 mile drive across town. So I picked up their screws. Well, of course, I picked up their screws, and everything I, else I bought is a T25 screw, and these aren't. Thank goodness they came with their own bit. Most of them do, I know, but just another fiasco. here then I'll be ready to put my interior floor on so I'm not gonna bore you guys with that I'm gonna take out the measured out cut it glue it in place and I might take a shot or two while there but you guys know what I'm doing there thanks for watching I'll be back here in a few I bought an Empire cutting guide this is something I can you know, down the road, 
I kind of thought that, you know, I, I want to build an 8x10, so I'm going to need to cut some sheets of plywood. I have a, a old time craftsman table saw with a big table on it and extension arms and stuff, but sometimes that's just a little too much overkill. So I've seen this, picked it up, two four foot pieces put together, and uh, see it's already going to come in handy. Yet. I got to trim down my insulation because of my edges all the way around. And uh, the nice part about this is I can just line these up, line this up, line up my lines here, which, geez, I'm already there. And that uh, comes with these handy dandy little clamps. So I can, nope, that clamp ain't going to make it. I will take the six inch clamps and that will make it. Well, I can just clamp this down, hold it in place on both sides while I take my knife and just run it down there, make a nice smooth edge cut. So, I thought you guys might like to see that. I don't know. You, everybody's probably already got some of these and knows all about them and that kind of stuff. But it sure was nice and easy. I'll be back after I get done with the rest of this. Alright, as you can see, I've got my foam cut laid in place here. Uh, I intentionally bought one inch foam, knowing that I'm going to have about an eighth of an inch over. But I knew that when I put down my top piece of plywood, it'll compress it down. So I've already got all my lines glued. My wife's going to come out here in a minute and help me put the top board on. So we'll screw this down, and the floor is done. Be back in a minute. All right, well, I guess I should show everybody what I'm doing here. She came up, my well, wife came out, thank you, Peggy. Lifted the top board on. This three quarter inch ply was heavier than crap. So what I've been doing is going around every, I don't know, six or so inches and putting an inch and a quarter screw in and screwing this down. So, and I've been putting a cap on because i got to compress that foam. So I've been putting the vices on here to uh, help squish it down. Good idea, bad idea, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm probably going to go back go back through and put a few uh, inch and three quarter screws in here too, just simply to secure the top and the bottom to each other you know, through the three quarter, the one inch piece in there. So, um, I'm tired of dropping all these screws. This is ridiculous. Spend more time bending over picking them up than I am doing anything. going to go across and do the middle to secure that in and uh, you guys don't need to watch that you see what I'm doing so I'll be back after a while <laughs> 